So there are two kinds of things that could plug up your arteries. One is a plaque rupture. These are 80% 80, 80 of heart attacks are a plaque rupture. I'd say even 90% even of heart attacks are a plaque rupture of some sort that goes down your arteries and plugs up on your arteries and we need to go in with a stent and open it up. Another type is sometimes people have something called a hypercoagulable state. They form too many clots. Um, some people just form more clots. They have pulmonary embolisms, um, DVTs in their legs. That's a different clotting cascade. Their blood is thicker or more hypercoagulable. It might be a genetic thing. You know, there could be lots of reasons for it. Their blood is more coagulable. Sometimes they have a thrombus in their left ventricle, that part of the heart that squeezes. There's a little thrombus there for whatever reason. It breaks off, goes into your aorta, and slips down one of your coronary arteries. That is a different kind uh, of thrombus or uh, blockage. That one usually is amenable to either being sucked out or sometimes using mechanical or chemical dis dissolution or breakup. There's all kinds of things we can do without getting into details. But the usual type of heart attack, 90% of the time, is usually something where it's a plaque rupture and not one of these clots that broke off of something else and got down into your arteries.